Welcome to the Boddington Experience. I'm Brittany Boddington. And I'm Craig Boddington. And this week we're in the central coast of California with Chad Wiebe of Oakstone Outfitters. We're looking for wild hogs and this is a flashback for us because this is the very first hunt we ever did together. Yeah, you know wild hogs are always fun now in a lot of parts of the country they're becoming a nuisance and the states aren't really sure how to handle them now. Here in central California we've had them for many years. They're managed as a resource, they're managed as a game animal. Brittany's looking for a meat hog for some sausage for the freezer, and I'm looking for the biggest boar I can find. <laughs> Wait till you see him. Stay with us, this is gonna be a fun one. This episode of BotX is brought to you by Global Sportsman's Network. Craig Boddington, decorated Marine, award-winning writer, hunter, adventurer. He's explored six continents to hunt over 300 species of big game, and he's not done yet. This is the Boddington Experience. Well, Brett, we've been shooting these LAW rifles. We've got the 300 here and the 280, and we both use both of them. But the difference right now for these pigs is we've got to use California Legal Unleaded. Right. And uh, so for the 300, we've got a full bore, and uh, for the 280, we've got 139 grain GMX. But we better check them because they might be different what we've been shooting. Sounds good. Buddy, got ears? Yep. Going for center at uh, that 100 yard target. Yep. You are exactly on that center triangle, uh, center square, right at the very top yep. corner. Yep, no, that, that's right. That'll work. Yep. Right, you doubled up the first hole. Okay. Yeah. I think that'll work. I think that'll work All too. Right. How's it going? How are you? Good. Hey, Chad. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. How's it going? Hey, good. How you doing? Hey, Brittany. Nice to meet you. All right. Well, I uh, questioned myself finding my way in here. It is dark tonight. Yeah. We must be total dark of the moon. Yeah, well, you know, we came off a full moon, and so it was a little tough a couple weeks ago, so <laughs> it uh, should be better for pig hunting today. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah. All right. Very good. Yeah, we put everything in our truck, then we'll get uh, your pig tags and get our paperwork filled out. Okay. And go from there. All right. Sounds good. Go for it. Chad, it's, it's March uh, here on the Central Coast. You guys have had really, really good rains this season for the first time in a long time. Well, we have had a lot of rain this year. Uh, the past three years, as you know, it's been just terrible droughts and the worst yeah. being last year. But with all the rain now, they went from having no feed in November to having more feed than they know what to do with right now. Um, so they're doing great, they're reproducing again. Um, but one of the things we're seeing is that the pig numbers are still good, but they're spread out because there's so much to eat now. Sure. There's so much water still on the ground. So. Okay. It's just breaking dawn, so it's time to get up on a ridge and start glassing. We have a pig up here about six or eight hundred yards just feeding up a ridge right now in the morning. He's not moving real fast, but we'll watch him and see what he does. Yeah, but we can just, we'll just stalk on them. So we'll drive the pickup 
up the probably back up the canyon we came down or maybe up this ridge drop down and then get in those trees and then come down the ridge at them because okay. the wind's blowing in our face here so hopefully when we get up there the wind's still kind of coming across It's a close shot, but Britt needs to wait for a little bit of shoulder to show through that grass. Good shot. Great shot, Britt. Britt, I think he's down. I just, uh, I wish I could see the outline. I hope he's still there. Well, he, he, he went I straight down. Yeah, there's nothing. He went straight down. We better he's get up there. disappeared yeah. in the grass. I'm on safe, but I got one in the chamber. Okay. You go ahead and check. Yeah. I'll let you walk in. The road here. The road should go right to him. Right to him. Steady. Well done. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you, Chad. Oh, he's great. Yeah. That's perfect. <laughs> well, you know, Chad, it's amazing to me what, what these pigs are worth up here today. I mean, you know, everywhere in the country where there's feral hogs, people think that they're, they're a horrible nuisance. And uh, here on the Central Coast, they're an industry. They are. Well, I think it's uh, because of our proximity to the Bay Area Absolutely. and to Southern California, it makes the Central Coast a great destination well, it really does. for people that want to get away for the weekend and have a great hunt. And pig hunting, as far as being a big game animal, is a great, I'd say, starter hunt for a lot of people. It's affordable and uh, it still gives them an opportunity to get out and hunt big game. This you know? is how I started. This yeah. is Absolutely. And you know, it's a nice time to do this. It's been about, what, 12 years? Yeah. You know, so it's about time we were on a pig hunt together again. I don't know. <laughs> We've shot a pig together since then. No, we haven't. No, that's amazing. No. <laughs> this is really cool. I'm excited. And you're up next. Break. There we go. <laughs> He's a heavy guy. Yep. Well, Brittany, you're going to let me have a turn now? <laughs> yep, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> this morning was great. We had a good time, but I think it's time to look for Hogzilla. As you can see, they do a lot of, uh, a lot of dry land grain farming, and from the country we are in, this country is further along. So it's yeah. further east, and it dries out a lot quicker here, so you can see the barley's already starting to turn. It's our friend Clint. He's a cattle rancher and grain farmer up here, and so this is his family's property. We'll just drive right up here, and there's some trees down here in yeah. the bottom. We start to, yeah. yeah. Brittany, this is the mission San Miguel Archangel. This was the 16th of 21 missions that the Franciscans established up and down the coast. Uh, this, this one was established in 1797. Now, some of the missions are larger, but this is said to be one of the most beautifully decorated of, of the 21 California missions. There isn't much cover out here, and the rancher believes that there's some pigs bedded in this particular barley field, so we're going to take a little walk in the barley and see what we can kick up. Just dove off. Yeah, there's more. Slow down those mustards right there. Yeah. 340. What a shot! 
another shell in. He went down real quick. He's down. Yeah, yeah he sure is. <laughs> hey, what a shot. Thanks, buddy. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Brett. Hey, you got him. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, yeah, I watched him How about up that? the hill. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna check him All out. All right, thank you. Whoa. On top of it, that's, that's nice. Big dead pig. Big pig. That is a monster pig. Yeah. For this part of the world. Oh. You bet. Woo, look at those tusks. Well done, Dad. With the body size, you have to assume it's a boar. Yeah. And then you just hope it still has teeth. Downhill is better than uphill, don't you think? Oh, my. Jeez, it's a big yes, it pig. Is. Well, Chad, uh, you thought we ought to try out by Shannon where the conditions are a little different. Yeah. You I know, think maybe you were right. I, I think it worked out pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. I've never even seen a pig this big, ever. No, this is, <laughs> this is the biggest biggest California hog and, and really the biggest hog I've ever, I've ever shot in the States. Maybe bigger in Eastern Europe, but but yeah. not in this part of the world, man. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And an amazing shot, I think, right at oh. 347 yards. And like I said, yeah, the conditions are different here. The barley field that he was bedded in is um, completely ripe compared to where we were hunting earlier today where the barley uh, hadn't even started putting grain on yet. Well, he was bedded in the barley. We kicked him up at about 20 feet, yeah. and but there was no way to shoot. And then uh, Got him where he came off the lip and up, and that was the first chance we had. Yep. And the only chance we were going to get. Yep. This is a new scope from Leupold. This is a 3 18. So I had, I had it turned down all day, but for this, I turned it up. <laughs> and it's nice to have that, that magnification. He looked pretty small with my eyes, and he looked plenty big in the scope. Oh, I'm sure. A beautiful pig. That's uh, Hornady's, what they're calling their full bore. Yep. And I tell you what, this is a full bore. About as full as they get. <laughs> yeah, and it dropped him very nicely. What a great hunt. And now, a conservation minute from SCI, first for hunters. Brittany, this is a, a great wild hog, and that was the first animal you ever took. And, uh, you know, across the United States, the wild hogs are, are really changing America's hunting culture. They've been sighted in all, all 48 of the continental states, and, of course, they're all over Hawaii. But did some research the other day, and they say that there may be as many as 9 million feral hogs in the U.S., wow. And the actual agricultural damage they're doing is estimated at, at $2 billion. The hunting is doing as much as it can to control them. And of course, they control them in lots of ways in lots of states. Sport hunting is important. Now, from my standpoint, one of the things that it's doing isn't so bad is creating hunting opportunity. It's a great game animal. And of course, it's one of just 840 some animals recognized by the Safari Club International's record system. The feral hogs there, and they were really the first people to recognize them. Well, this afternoon, it's Dr. Sadaf Khan's turn to shoot a pig here, and uh, I understand you've never shot one of these. I have not shot a pig here yet, and I'm extremely excited about finding cool. one this afternoon. Now, Sadaf, you're from the Central Coast, but have you spent much time in this part? No, I'm actually from uh, a little bit south of here, and actually today is the first time that I've traveled up here to see this part of the country, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Chad, I understand this property's been in your family a long time. It has. It's uh, going on around about six generations right now. It's fun to be out here on a place that, uh, that my grandparents and great-grandparents uh, have been involved with. Well, it's past five o'clock. It's probably approaching pig o'clock. It is. We'll uh, I think we hop in. We'll take a drive. Let's do her. We just had four nice pigs cross the road in front of us and uh, drop down in this creek. We're going to get out and try to make a little stock up the ditch. And hopefully they just uh, went across the road and hung down in the water there. So. I'm not going to chain them around right now. I'm on safety, ready to go.
The sun's going down. Now it's a race against time. So we've actually found some pigs in the field and we're hoping to do a really quiet stalk. Just a bit of roll in the ground that allows another 50 yards, and that's it. Thank you. He was just huge. Oh, that's a big pig. You could see right when we got out of the truck. He was huge. He was the biggest when we pulled around outside the field and he started and then, running out. And then I said the one to the right was big and then I panned over to the left and I saw him and I was like, oh my way gosh. Bigger. Yeah, you couldn't tell when they were standing away because he turned broadside. In. Exactly. And I was like, my gosh, that's really it's huge. A gigantic pig. Well, top on this side because he's a fighter, but look at that body compared to. We got another. High 200s pig. <laughs> wow, he's huge. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Well, I'd like to say uh, congratulations to Sadaf for Thank you so much, Chad. shooting uh, an amazing trophy boar this evening. What makes this boar uh, just a phenomenal trophy, and we don't see it a lot, is uh, this razorback hair on his back. Uh, a lot of our pigs around here just don't have that. And then his size, too, for weight, you know, I would estimate that he's going to be in the upper 200s. Worked perfectly, but I was watching from, from a distance. You had enough people going in, and it was getting dark fast, girl. It was. I think I just had a few moments, and my blood was up, and I spotted him, and Chad said, go for it, so I did. 260 yards, first shot. That's, that's a great shot. Off sticks. Thank you. Thank well you. done. So Craig, I've really enjoyed using this rifle. It's new. This is the legendary Arms Works Model 704, but it's, it's a 280 Remington, which uh, is plenty of gun for most pigs, but it's not a big gun on a pig like this. And uh, you've got a, a Leupold 4 and a half to 14 scope on it, uh, which, which is plenty good. We started with it turned down. I assume you turned it up. I did turn it yeah. up, Yeah, and uh, we're shooting Hornady's uh, 139 grain GMX, uh, which of course is a lead-free bullet. You have to use that here in the Condor Zone, but uh, it's a bullet with great penetration. Your first shot whizzed right through that pig. Perfect. 
Well, Chad, you are Oakstone Outfitters, but you're also Central Coast Taxidermy. How would you feel about mounting this uh, prize pig for me? Well, I'd uh, feel privileged to do that for you, Sadaf. I'd, I think it's uh, definitely one of a kind, and it's going to be a very hard trophy to beat. Thank you so much. I've really appreciated your help on this uh, hunt, and I'm looking forward to the mount. Yeah. Good job. Thank you.